Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, we are doing a series on the Islamic ethical code and we have talked about different ethical um, attributes that a mu'min, a believing person must acquire. One of the attributes that we're going to be talking about today is um, jealousy, is a calamity for religion. And if you look at uh, the traditions that talk about ethical things, Jealousy has been named as the root of all uh, evil deeds. In a hadith by Imam Hassan al-Mushtaba al-Islam, he says, Al-Hasadu ra'idu su It is the root of all evil. Uh, in another hadith by Imam Hassan al-Mushtaba al-Islam, he says that, Halakun nasi fi thalathin People are destroyed in three things. Al-Kibru, Al-Hirsu, Al-Hasad. Uh, pride, greed and jealousy eat up all the, they are the roots of all evil. And in that when he describes jealousy, he says, وَبِهِ قَتَلَ قَابِلُ habila." Because of jealousy, uh, it is um, Qabil who killed his brother Habil, the two sons of Adam. Hazrat Adam had two sons, uh, Qabil and Habil. Um, one son killed the other. And that is because of jealousy. They both gave sacrifices before God. Allah accepted the sacrifice of one and did not accept from the other. Uh, and the one whose sacrifice was rejected became jealous of, his, uh, jealous of his own brother and killed him. The tradition says that why did Allah not accept the, the sacrifice of uh, Qabil? Allah did not accept the Sacrifice because of his intentions. In Nama Yataqabbal Allahu min al muttaqin Indeed, Allah accepts, the Holy Quran says, Allah only accepts from muttaqin, the people who are pious. When the root of your deed is not on pleasing God, when it is self admiration or um, showing off or any other intention other than God, then your deed will not be accepted. And Qabil's actions were not being accepted. And hence, he saw his brother who was very pious, who was pure of heart, and he was beloved to God and beloved to the Father, then he became envious. Likewise, we sometimes have uh, many different reasons why people become jealous of each other. But who becomes jealous? It is the greatest calamity, or it is the calamity of religion. Afatuddin. Likulli shayn afatun. Walil ilmi afat. You know, Imam al Islam says, everything has a calamity. There is something that eats up. Religion has a calamity that is jealousy. You lose your faith. You lose, you don't believe in God once you start to become envious of other people. And you, you build the habit of becoming jealous. What are the root causes of jealousy? According to traditions, it is holding grudge against the other. How do you hold grudge against another person? You hold a grudge, you have something in heart, and once you start to practice what you have in your heart, you become uh, a sinful person. There are three things a person may do. But before I go into those three things, um, we want to talk about how a person builds this habit. Number one, uh, sometimes the parents uh, give more love or praise more ch uh, one child more than the other. And the child that is less praised starts to feel jealous of the other one. So pay parents should be careful um, when they're praising their children in front of the other, that they should not say, oh, you're not good enough. Uh, your brother or your sister is better than you. And that may make the child jealous of the other, of their sibling. So w one should avoid that. The other thing that makes a child or a person uh, uh, jealous of the other is when they feel that I'm better than the other, self-admiration. So because you feel I'm better, I'm uh, uh, in any way, you know, because of language or color or looks or whatever, you, you know, a person may have a genuine or a wrong reason to feel that they are better than the other. I'm more knowledgeable, so I'm better than the other. I'm, I have more wealth, I, am, I have better looks, I have a better dress, whatever. It may be very lousy, but you know, you always have reasons. As children, you make those, uh, um, as reasons for yourself to feel that you're better than the other. 
and that way you may feel that uh, you know or you lack something sometimes you don't feel that you're better but you lack something usually it is when you feel that you lack something you feel that oh this person has something better than I do uh, and therefore you hate them or you dislike them and then slowly you build the habit of uh, enviousness or jealousy from them it results into three things one number one backbiting you you always want to put them down you backbite them uh, say bad things about them or accuse them sometimes uh, and that's the first step second step would be that you want to harm them uh, and uh, you harm them through saying things to them to hurt them or oh, you you are not good you're not better than I am and you hurt them by saying certain things and um, it's only words that you hurt them with and the third phase is that you physically go and hurt them you either push them you um, you hit them or you know you do something which is physical against them and that's uh, the worst thing you could do if you don't stop yourself from the first stage backbiting then you will come to a stage where you will either phys literally verbally hurt them or physically you go into the final stage where you physically hurt a person Masum al-Islam has said that try and stop yourself from saying things against the people who uh, you envy or you dislike. How do you control yourself? Well, number one, it is Allah who has um, given them what they have, knowledge or looks or whatever. Uh, so you should not blame Allah and Allah will compensate you for what he has given them. He will compensate you for it you Allah will bless you with something that they don't have even if you can't see it Allah has given you something even if Allah has not given you in this world Allah will give you in the hereafter so never feel that you have you lack something you have less you may have something less than this person but you will have something more than they do and you can't see it at times and because it is Allah who gives so therefore you should never feel that I lack something so you should always thank Allah Secondly, even if you have something which is less than them, how does it increase? By thanking Allah. La in shakartum la azidan nakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran says that if you thank me, then I will increase in what I have given you. So never ever feel that you have you lack something, but you may increase in the blessings that Allah has given you by thanking Allah more. How else can you improve your own abilities? By working on yourself, by um, uh, uh, self-development a person improves through self-development rather than feeling envious and feeling sad and feeling you lack something and telling yourself off and uh, secluding yourself and isolating yourself you should feel that no I should not isolate myself I, should, I need to work on myself so if you think that they have something that you don't have for example wealth or knowledge you work hard and uh, acquire what they have and acquiring uh, always requires hard work Imam Ali Islam says Man jadda wa jadda. whoever works hard they will possess what they want so if you you know many people have worked very hard to get what they want so if you also work hard you will also acquire what Allah has blessed them with so those blessings are given to you because of your hard work finally the last thing in in jealousy one must remember that it is uh, jealousy that destroys everything. In Surah Hashr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, um, you should, Mu'mineen, the believing people should always pray to Allah. Wala taj'al fi qulubina ghilna lilladheena amanu. O Allah, do not place uh, jealousy in our heart for the ones who believe. So people who believe, you should try and say, oh no, they have it, it's a blessing from Allah. And you should try and tell yourself that even if I am less in any way, uh, than this person that you feel jealous of you should never ever uh, try and destroy what they have and try and keep your heart clean sometimes you lack a lot of things but because of the purity of your heart Allah blesses you with some of the things that they don't have in this world and the hereafter you may acquire a position in the paradise that they will not because of your clean heart so try and clean your heart try and purify your soul and your purified soul will be better than the other people and Allah will place love in the heart of other believing people 
You know, the Holy Quran says that we will place love uh, in the hearts of believing people for you if you practice. So if you are a good practicing person, Allah will make the people love you more than they love him or her because of uh, your position. So in, in this uh, segment, we want to learn that it is jealousy that eats up uh, all, uh, uh, all good deeds. al hasado ya'kul al-hasanat kama ta'kul nar al-hatab. Imam Ali al-Islam says that jealousy eats up all good deeds like fire eats up dry wood. So if you be, feel jealous of a person, you are burning inside, you physically become ill, you know, illnesses come to you. Imam Ali says that a person who has jealousy will never remain healthy. So you stress and jealousy eat, you know, give you sickness, ill health. So it is important that you uh, don't have jealousy uh, because it will give you ill health. Number two, it eats up all of your good deeds. Uh, you know, you will lose all of the good deeds slowly and very quickly. You lose all the good deeds. The impact it, ha it has on your health is, you know, when a person burns, you know, when you're burning inside, um, it has, it brings stress. Secondly, it gives you problem in your digestive system because you are uh, under, uh, under jealousy and it brings about many, many other health problems like heart and many other things. So it brings in many, many illnesses to you because of your jealousy for another person. Um, so we would like to request that you rid yourself of jealousy and by how do you do that? By reading Surah Hashr every night and also reading Salawat and reading Isaghfar, different things and praying on time helps you to rid yourself from jealousy. Thank you very much for listening.